video, I have a really fun first impression slash watching video of some lip products I received recently from YesStyle that I have never seen anything like these lip products. So I'm actually really excited to try these. And the lipsticks that I'm going to be talking about in this video, oh, I'm dropping them already, are from Kyla Jume. At least I think they're called Kyla Jume. So I did a video about a year or two back about Kyla Jume and their really popular flower lipsticks when those were kind of the trend going on. And I had no idea that they had come up with these, so when I saw these, I was like, yes, must make a video, because I'm really stoked for these. So, essentially what these are, and I'm just gonna go ahead and read you the whole spiel about these. Contains the temperature, composition, color, and appearance changes with temperature. Okay, well that's very grammatically incorrect. So what I'm getting from this is, if your body temperature is higher, the darker the lipstick will look. The lower your body temperature, the lighter your lipstick, the lipstick will look. So this is what the lipstick looks like. Very seductive. <laughs> it is black. And there are actually different shades of this despite the fact, I believe these are all going to appear black. Let me see. Yes, there are six different shades and I'm just gonna be going from lightest to darkest, at least what looks lightest, and swatch them for you guys and we're gonna see how the color changes. So the first thing we're going to see is if the color of this actually depends on the temperature of your body or if it's just kind of, you know, they're just throwing that out there for funsies. I am going to be using pink first, which I believe is kind of the lightest shade, pink rose. And I would say right now it's probably gonna be the warmer temperature, so hopefully this goes on a bit darker because I am hot and I'm always warmer when I'm filming. So again, this is what it looks like, and this is what my lips look like. <laughs> Ooh, these are buttery. They really just glide on. Okay, that's actually like a a lot darker than I was thinking it was gonna be, but maybe that's because my body temperature is higher. Um, and that's supposed to be the pink, so that's gonna be the lightest. I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch it on my hand too and kind of see if it comes out a different color. Still looks pretty dark. anything about them staining the lips but I guess we're going to find out if they do see look how dark that was when it came off and that's supposed to be pink the light color so the only way that I can think to test this as far as temperature goes is go a radical route which is going to be I'm gonna take my ice plate so essentially this is something I just keep in the fridge it's designed for you know depuffing the face and to cool down the skin I'm gonna let it sit on there for a little bit probably as long as I can take it, and then we're gonna try the lipstick again. What? <laughs> this is a weird sensation. <laughs> Ooh, my lips are definitely cold. Okay, let me hurry up and apply this before my lips warm up. Am I crazy or does it look exactly the same? <laughs> I'm gonna also try this on my hand because I could probably withstand coldness more on the back of my hand or since my lips and see. Okay, ooh, that's definitely cold. Okay, let's see. It looks the same, but now this swatch looks different, or it looks a little bit lighter. So that's kind of weird, because this is definitely the colder swatch, and this is the warm swatch, so I don't really know what's going on. I mean, they're kind of a cool concept anyways, but I am also going to continue to swatch the rest of them, because we still got five more shades to go through. I'm not going to do the cold test. I think I'm just going to swatch them on my lips, because I think I'm probably at normal body temperature, which is how most people would be when applying these. See, look how weird it came off different. I am so confused. See, this one is kind of red, and this one down here, that's the same lipstick. So the next color that I'm gonna be swatching is the color Orange Rose. And of course, again, looks like that. <laughs> Identical. <laughs> Listen to the midnight radio. Listen to the midnight radio. So far, they're all kind of having this like bloody red cranberry kind of undertone to them. So here are the two swatches that I just did. Um, this is the pink rose and this is the orange rose. So you can see there is a little bit of a difference between the two on the lips. They do look a little bit different. It is kind of interesting and I guess I'll see this more so when I go back and edit, but I do feel like the color is changing on my lips as I'm talking. When I first applied it, I definitely think it looked more red. Now I think it looks more orange. So these are actually kind of cool. 
See, look, you can kind of see the difference in color. This is all that I just wiped off. You can see over here it's darker, over here it was a little bit more orange, and now it's changing on the makeup wipe. Whoa! Science! So the next color that I'm gonna be trying is called Red Rose. Let's see what Red Rose looks like. Looks black! <laughs> Yep, see? All of them kind of do the same thing. They have that dark burgundy and then they go light. You could actually see it probably change as I was filming that bit. So the next color that I'm gonna be trying out is called Rose Goddess. This one actually, you could see a little bit of the red more so in it. It's gonna be so hard to tell because they basically look black, but that one actually looks a little bit more red. Listen to the That one is definitely a lot more of a bright, more vibrant red in case you were curious about how it compared to the swatch we just did. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it off so we can see how it changes on my little wipey here. Okay, that one just kind of came off like it did on my lips. But can you guys see some of the other swatches, how they've darkened up? So interesting, I wonder how they do that. So next I am going to try out the shade Red Purple Rose. It's actually a very pretty color. It kind of reminds me of the first one we swatched. The pink color. It looks very similar. And it came off like a... Came off like that. Finally, the last color that I am going to be swatching is called Purple Rose. It does kind of look a little bit more purple than the last one I tried, but it does look similar. As I was swatching those on my lips, I was also swatching them on my arm as we were going along, which I'll show you guys a close-up of here. And looking at them side to side, they do look different. On the lips, they look very similar, but you can still see that these all have a very heavy magenta, burgundy type of undertone to it. And that I'm assuming is just purely because the base of this is dark. Overall, I think they're very pretty colors and I think these are so fun. Like I could sit here all day and test them out on different temperatures of my skin, see if they change throughout the day. I mean, I just think it's cool to think that you could be wearing like a pink lipstick in the morning and then you look at yourself in the mirror and you're wearing a bright magenta lipstick. I just, I don't know, I think that's fun. And before I let you guys go, I also wanted to note, I'm sure you guys are seeing some changes on my social media pages, so be sure to check the links down in the description box below. I changed the names around a little bit, changing my branding and becoming more official. So be sure you're following me on all of my other social media channels, I guess. And my website, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I have revamped my website. It's still a work in progress, so don't be surprised if there are still some bugs on there, but it looks way different than it did before, so definitely go check that out. Anyways guys, I hope you had as much fun with this video as I did filming it, and I will put links down in the description box below where you could pick these lipsticks up. As always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy, and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!